Police are asking for your help to catch whoever is responsible for the vandalism at an Anderson nonprofit. Anderson Interfaith Ministries says it cost them thousands of dollars. 7 News reporter Sophia Radebaugh has more details on the damage. A ministry says this fence is a result of some of the vandalism. They say they had to spend thousands of dollars on it to make sure none of their vehicles could be damaged. Slashed tires, an emptied gas tank, and an attempt to steal the catalytic converter. Employees at Anderson Interfaith Ministry say whoever vandalized their property has cost them about $5,600 in repairs and fence installation. The ministry filed a police report, but police say they don't have any leads on a suspect. The damage to the car isn't the first act of vandalism. AIM says several other incidents have happened over the year. AIM says it's disappointing to do so much work to help the community to then have their things damaged. They say they're hoping the community will come behind them in support and whoever is responsible will be held accountable. I just think it's someone who maybe doesn't care about the community or where they're at or what's going on or who they're hurting or who we're trying to help or anything of that nature. AIM says they're planning on installing a higher quality camera system, but they need the funding before they can do that. In Anderson, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News.